What's up guys, Eric here from Decasode TV and today I have the Galaxy S9 Plus in front of me and I'm going to show you guys the fastest way to set it up regardless of which device you're coming from. So if you're coming from an iPhone, if you're coming from an Android phone, doesn't matter, I'm going to show you the fastest way to set it up. But first, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to know when all of my Galaxy S9 coverage drops. All right, I'm gonna start this off with a really quick unboxing, but if you wanna skip the unboxing portion, I'm gonna have a time code up here. If you skip to that time code, then that's gonna take you straight to the setup method. So we have a pretty typical looking Galaxy S series box. You have this sleeve here, and then on the inside, you have this little tab that you pull open, and it kind of unfolds like so. You've got another pull tab here, and in this little box, you have all of your documentation, as well as your SIM removal tool. So I'm gonna set this to the side. Below that, you have the Galaxy S9 itself. Below that, we have this little adapter, which is the key part to this video. You're gonna need this in order to transfer everything quickly to your Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. And of course, below that, you have a adaptive fast charger that comes right in the box, which is awesome. Something that Apple needs to start doing on their devices. Going further in, you get a USB-C to regular USB cable. You're gonna need this as well for the transfer. And further down, you get the AKG earbuds, as well as little replacement tips as well. You've got uh, some larger and smaller ones in here, so if these don't fit quite right, you can try these tips to see if those fit any better. And a quick thing about these AKG earbuds, these are really good. I've, I've been using the AKG earbuds that I got with the Galaxy S8 last year, and those have been the main earbuds that I go to. I mean, the, the cable itself, it's like a, uh, a braided cable, very a premium feeling. The earbuds fit very comfortably in my ear. The sound quality is really nice. You get very, very full sound out of them. You get good bass as well. So as far as headphones that come with a device, these are really tough to beat. I don't know that I've ever tried any headphones from any other manufacturer that comes in the box that are this good. So that's it for stuff in the box. Now it's time to set this thing up. While I could transfer everything from an iPhone, I'm actually gonna be using my Galaxy Note 8 to transfer everything to the S9 Plus because my Note 8 has all the information that I really care about to get onto my S9 Plus. But regardless of which phone you use, it's gonna be the exact same setup method. So first things first is I need to put the SIM card in the new phone. So I already took it out of my Note 8 and I'm just gonna go ahead and press this pin in at the top and pull out the tray, grab my SIM card pop it into the tray. And if I was gonna put my SD card in, I'd put that in right there. I'm not gonna put that in right now, I'll do that later. So we'll go ahead and just slide that in and power it on. I'm gonna set the note to the side for now. All right, so this is an unlocked phone. So since I just put my SIM card in and started it up, it says that the device is gonna have to restart to configure it for the SIM card. So I'm gonna go ahead and click okay and let it restart. So once your device restarts, you're just gonna tap this little arrow for start you're going to sign into your Wi-Fi network. Once you're signed into your network, you need to agree to these details, but you do not need to agree to the diagnostic data. Diagnostic data is gonna send information about how you use your device to Samsung so it can improve future devices, but it is not required in any way to use any of the functions on this phone. Now just sign into your Google account. Once you're signed in, you can use one of these backup methods from Google. You can tell this is from Google Drive. And I have uh, a few backups that I made recently, but don't use this method because this is not the best way to restore your device. So click don't restore here. After that, you just pick which unlock method you want to use and set that up. Once your security method is set up, you can choose from a few different lock screen options. When you're done with that, tap next. Next screen is gonna ask if you wanna back everything up to Google Drive. Now this is the backup that you saw earlier that I said not to use, but I do recommend leaving this on as a fail safe just in case something goes wrong and you do need to revert back to this other backup method. It's always nice to have multiple methods. And the next thing here is deciding whether or not you want apps to be able to use your location. Further down, you can improve your location accuracy by using things like your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And then here is another one, you can send system data. This is similar to the Samsung one that I actually turned off. Uh, this basically just sends diagnostic information to Google to help them improve their products as well. Tap agree when you're done with that. Now you can set up Google Assistant. You get the option to turn on location history, which when you open Google Maps, there's going to be a section where you can actually see every place that you've traveled recently. If that's a little too creepy for you, you can go ahead and turn that off by saying no thanks. Next, you need to sign into your Samsung account. If you don't have one yet, I recommend that you create one here. Once you're signed in, you have another set of terms and conditions to agree to. 
Now this is the important part of the setup method. You're going to go ahead and select from old device for this restore data option. Then just tap next. So now we need to grab the old device. So I've already grabbed my Note 8 and it's showing me here that I need this special adapter and a USB cable to connect the old device to the new one. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this adapter in on the bottom. Then I'm going to plug this USB cable into my new phone and plug the other end into my Note 8. Now, if this was an iPhone, I would just use the lightning cable that came with the iPhone to plug the iPhone into my Galaxy S9 Plus. So now you just need to allow the other device to access the data. So now that we are connected, it's checking all the data on this phone to find out what it can bring over from it. And if you have an iPhone or something like that, you may need to install an app called Samsung Smart Switch that's in the Apple App Store and also in the Android App Store. So you may need to install that first in order to get this window to pop up. But since these are both Galaxy devices, I don't need to worry about that. They both have the software required to do this. As you can see, I now have a list of a bunch of things that I can transfer from my old phone to my new one. And it says it's going to take about 48 minutes for everything to transfer from the old one to the new one. And that includes all of my 4,307 messages, all of my applications, my contact information, reminders, all of the notes that I have from Samsung Notes, my call logs, my alarms, my internet bookmarks, everything that I've done with the internet browser, everything I've saved is all going to be moved over. My email account information is all going to be moved over so I don't need to log back into anything. All of my Samsung health data and statistics is going to be pulled in. All of my apps and data are going to be pulled in as well. And if I tap this settings gear, I can actually select which apps I do and don't want to bring over. So I'm actually going to go through and do that really quick. All right, so I've gone ahead and selected all the apps that I want to transfer. As you can see here, it also transfers all of your settings as well. And the important one here is this little Wi-Fi one here, because what this means is it's going to transfer all of the Wi-Fi passwords from your old device to your new device. So if you've ever gone to a friend's house or a family member's house and they had one of those 16 digit super long passwords to get out of their Wi-Fi networks, you don't need to ask them for that anymore because it's just going to transfer right over from the old device to the new device. You're also going to be able to transfer your lock screen and home screen wallpapers, any folders that you set up, widgets, app shortcuts, all of those things. So what that means is my home screen on this old phone is going to transfer exactly to the home screen on that phone. So if I had apps in a special order on my old device, it's going to show up in that exact same order over here, which is great because some people spend a lot of time setting up their apps just how they like it, their widgets just how they like it. All of that's going to transfer evenly straight across onto the new device. You also have the option to transfer any images, music, videos, voice recordings, and documents over to the new device. And if I tap this little gear here, it's actually going to show me all the images that I can transfer. And if I go ahead and click down there, same thing for the music, you tap the gear, videos, tap the gear, all these different things, you can actually select which images and which videos and documents that you actually want to transfer. Now, I don't really care to transfer any of this stuff now because most of my important stuff is stored on my SD card. If you scroll down further, you can see that I can also transfer everything from the SD card. Now, I'm not going to do that either because later I'm just going to move the SD card from this phone to this phone. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck all of these. And as you can see, since I turned off a bunch of things and now I'm not transferring a bunch of different applications, nor am I transferring any of these things here, my time drops to about 30 minutes. So I'm going to save some time since I don't have as much data to transfer. Once you selected everything that you want to transfer, just tap transfer to start the transfer. Notice here how it says don't disconnect the cable. You're going to want to keep this cable connected until it pops up and says you can now finally disconnect it. So those 30 minutes, this doesn't have to be connected to this phone for the full 30 minutes. It just has to be connected to this phone long enough to package the information and send it over. And then all the app installs and setting up your home screen, that's going to happen without the cable needing to be plugged in. Now, while this is transferring, you also get some more things that you can do on your new device, uh, such as turning off an extended battery feature, uh, a way to create a secure folder. You can change your font size and your screen zoom level. And you also can turn on weather forecasts. Once you decide what you want to do here, tap finish. And now you can start using your Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus while this transfer is happening. But again, just remember to keep the cable plugged in until it tells you you can disconnect it. And if at any point you want to check on the status of the transfer, just pull down your notification shade and tap on preparing to transfer. And you can see here it's 85% ready. All right, now the transfer is occurring. So basically what just happened was the Note 8 was packaging up all the information to prepare it to send over 
to the Galaxy S9 Plus. As you can see, once it's packaged up, things transfer pretty quickly. And now the transfer has finished, and you can see here that I can now disconnect the USB cable. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this and set this to the side. And as you can see, it's now saving all the information. So earlier it was saving my messages, now it's saving all of my notes data, and it's just going to go through and keep saving everything in the background. So now at this point, you can go ahead and start using your Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. You can go ahead and install more applications if you want. You can start sending messages to people, hop on Facebook. Whatever you want to do, you can go ahead and just dive right in. And for the next about 25, 30 minutes, at least in my case, it's going to be installing applications in the background. And if I go to my app drawer, you can already see that it already installed four applications and it's just going to keep installing them. And once the applications are finally installed, it's going to then update my home screen to match the home screen on my Galaxy Note 8. So there you have it guys, the absolute fastest way to set up a Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. Like the video if you liked it, share it if you loved it, and subscribe to see the rest of my Galaxy S9 Plus coverage. And don't forget to smack that notification bell so you can be the first to know when a new video drops. That's it for this tech episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.